Here's Chris again. I've got uh, this industrial fan by Dayton that I thought maybe you would be interested in. Um, I can give this one to you too. Uh, I had in plans of turning it into a, a gigantic box fan, but I'm not very handy with using wood and, and that sort of thing, so uh, I never really had time to mess with it, and now it's just taking up too much room. But it's a quarter horse motor, and I did put this this heavier duty cord on it here, and I reversed the direction of the motor. That the actual uh, direction of the blades uh, before were moving the wrong the wrong uh, direction. They're moving like this, and so I switched it. Uh, the other thing I've I've found that I think that these blades might actually be uh, a little bit out of round or out of uh, alignment with each other. So that's something that you could probably replace pretty pretty easily. Um, but it's a 48 inch, or I'm sorry, a 24 inch. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn this light on here. Trying to focus it better. Here's the specs on the motor. Also Dayton. I'll try and plug it in quick for you. This is definitely not a retro fan, but I thought, well, you never know. Maybe you have a use for it. Um, I really enjoy watching your guys' videos, uh, you and, and uh, Organist 1982's. It gives me something to do while I'm at work, so that's why I'm happy to give these things for you guys to play around with. See, it's a very quiet fan. cobwebs down here too. And the other item that you're more than welcome to, it's kind of hard to see right now, I've got these vintage uh, Movie theater seats. Try and get this out of the way. Can't really see them very well. Uh, I've got too much junk on them. But uh, you can see the they're kind of a cyan color, and I'll show you kind of the metal work on them. I'm not really sure what year these were manufactured. They came out of an old theater, I believe, in Pekin, Illinois. I got them in an antique mall. I had plans of turning them into a turning it into a movie uh, home cinema room down here, and just never materialized. But it's a, actually a row of four seats, 
and uh, you're more than welcome to it. Because I know you'd have an appreciation for this kind of thing. So, this is uh, for you guys too if you'd like them. And now I'll go upstairs and I'll show you guys a few other things. Uh, I'm not really wanting to give these away, but I'll show you. Stairs in my kitchen. This place was built in 1963, and I've got this old vintage oven. I thought maybe you'd get a kick out of it, Chad. It's a Frigidaire, I guess they were owned by General Motors at one time. But it's really kind of a neat piece. Uh, this this range top actually slides in, and then this is an exhaust hood up here that you pull out. Kind of slow to start. I don't know if the bearings are failing on it or what. But uh, it's a pretty neat piece. And then the actual oven doors slide out like that. And it's built over these. I would try and sell this piece but if I did then I'd have to knock out these covers that are built in underneath it and it still works fine and then I have a pink countertop now that's something you don't see very often it's got little gold flecks in it I would assume that they're probably the original cabinets in the house the other thing I thought you might get a kick out of is this old Victrola. That's my roommate singing. I think this is a 19... 12 or 1914 model uh, Victrola, Victor Victrola. Still works great. This is kind of like a horn right here. <coughs> I'm at the moon to 
Well, that's it. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, you and, and uh, Organist 1990, 80, or 1982, I'm sorry, are more than welcome to come up and stay even overnight if it helps make the trip a little more affordable. And uh, yeah, I'd love to share these things with you uh, because I really enjoy your channel and I'd love for somebody to be able to use that organ that's down in my basement. So, anyway, let me know. Thank you.